Did you know that your attitude toward yourself largely determines your health, happiness, and performance in every part of your life? Your personality begins to form in infancy and early childhood. It is largely influenced by the responses to you by your parents, siblings, and other important people. The child looks into the eyes and faces of other people to find out whether or not he or she is attractive, safe, funny, intelligent, and secure. Your own level of self-acceptance is largely determined by how much you feel you are accepted by the most important people in your life. Your attitude towards yourself is largely determined by the attitudes that you think other people have toward you. When you believe that other people think highly of you, your level of self-acceptance and self-esteem goes up immediately. Self-acceptance is the foundation of self-esteem. And your level of self-esteem is the key measure of the overall health of your personality. There are four steps on the staircase to self-acceptance and self-esteem. The starting point, and often the breakthrough in personality development, is the process of self-disclosure. For you to truly understand yourself, or to stop being troubled by things that may have happened to you in your past, you must be able to disclose yourself to at least one other person. You have to be able to get those things that make you unhappy off your chest. You must rid yourself of those thoughts and feelings by revealing them to someone who will not make you feel guilty or ashamed for what has happened. This is the whole basis of psychology, psychiatry, and psychotherapy. The second stage of personality development which follows naturally from honest self-disclosure is self-awareness. It's only when you can share what you are truly feeling and thinking with someone else that you can become aware of those thoughts and emotions. It's only when you can express yourself in words to another person who will simply listen without commenting or criticizing that you truly understand yourself. This self-disclosure enables you to become more aware of yourself. As you become more aware, you begin to realize that you are basically a good person. You become more honest and objective about yourself. You develop a more mature perspective into your own personality. Now we come to the good part. After you've gone through self-disclosure to self-awareness, you arrive naturally at self-acceptance. You finally accept yourself for the person you are, with strengths and weaknesses, good and bad points, with the normal frailties of a human being. You become capable of standing back and seeing yourself honestly, feeling no need to defend or explain. You can accept that you are not perfect, but all in all, you're a pretty good person. Now here's an exercise for you. Select one person who you trust and tell that person one problem or concern that you have about yourself that causes you stress or uneasiness. As soon as you tell someone else, you will feel completely free and liberated. 